I think he's a little confused. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Mark McClure, the original Jimmy Olsen in the original Superman movies, who, of course, um, was having some cameos. Or, you know, he played a character. Not really cameos, but he was playing a character in Justice League. We saw in the first trailers that were, of course, removed, those scenes that were removed, that he was at the Heroes Park during the Superman Justice League fight. He almost got, you know, he almost got a tank, just you know, a tank almost landed on him in Cyborg intervened, saved his ass. So we know he was there, and then it was uh, more information that's come out with his character. He was basically Lois Lane's chauffeur. Like, when we see her at the beginning of, you know, the opening credits where she's at Heroes Park and it's raining, he took her there. And he takes her there to the park as well to, hey, hey, super, we got to get you to Superman, Superman. That's uh, apparently the information that's been uh, received. But this is what he had to say right here on a panel. This is, like I said, this is a couple days. It's a few days old. I I'm a little late on this, so I apologize, but whatever. There's a big fight sequence in the park where Superman's statue was. And it was more at the beginning of the film. So it all got kind of changed around. I'm not quite sure why it was, whether it just didn't work with the story. I think we know. So, we know, Mark. I think it was just a hard sequence with the fights and everyone together where they wanted to save that moment. That would be my guess on that. And uh, when I went to, you know, ask very, you know, some people and stuff like that and, you know, just taking everything in from the trailers, from the, the, the images, the stills from the movie that we've gotten, I think it's a little confused. Superman coming back, I'm pretty sure is still like halfway, halfway into the movie, you know, kind of similar to where it was now. I mean, there's so much that we've taken in, like I said, with stills, with the trailers, we see them without Superman, you know, they, they're, they're first when they go underground to try, you know, to take on Steppenwolf and the Parademons. I mean, that's well into it. I mean, first they have, you know, Bruce has to go to Arthur and Diana shows up and then they, they go to Barry, they go to Cyborg. There's so much that they have to establish before all that happens. And then of course there's a Star Lord, uh, Star Lords, come on! There's a Star Lab scene that we didn't get to see as well where they're all there and pretty much I know they're looking for the mother box and and we know that that's how they bring Superman back. So I think he just got a little confused of what was going on and like I said, from what I heard now, it is well into the movie before that scene uh, actually happens, probably about halfway. So, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. I mean, I know there's going to probably be some people that push back on me because they're like, oh, here's the movie. But, I mean, just think about it. Think about all we've seen, like I said, with footage and uh, all that they had to establish. I mean, they still had to even go to the cemetery to dig him up, you know, and discuss it. We saw a lot of stills where they're discussing everything, you know, in Bruce's hangar. So there's just a lot of things that were happening before. So I don't think... That they just, like, right away resur resurrected him, and he was just chilling at the, the, the Kent farm most of the time. Well, I mean, he was gone for a while, and Lois was with him, so they had a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> just kidding, but yeah. So that's why I was like, mm, even when I first heard it, I was like, that's a little weird. And then I went to verify it, and I'm like, oh, okay, yep. Yeah, I think he, he, yeah. I mean, he probably just thought. I'm not saying that he was just like he's giving out the fake news, fake news. No, he just, you know, he probably just figured that that was the case. I mean, it wasn't in the movie that much. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to clear that up. Um, I mean, I don't even, I mean, like I said, who knows if what I heard was even 100% right. We just got to see the goddamn movie. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about all this? Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel, visit filmjunkie.com. And, of course, visit the Film Junkie closet for shirts and stickers, all right? Talk to you later.